we've upped our coverage of Australia up to 95% of our population over here. 95% is, is incredible. It's, it's a lot of people. It's a lot of the population, it's a lot of the utilities, you know. Generally, when we want to expand our coverage, we take on board our customer feedback uh, on areas that people really want to look at uh, and look where the major population bases are and then expand our flight maps based around that. Uh, my name is Mishenda Turner. I am the Senior Director of ANZ Survey Operations at NEMAP. My name's uh, Dana Tay. I, uh, I work as a geospatial content technician. So my name's Reese. I work in survey ops. Uh, I work on flight operations. My name's uh, Danny Lyons and I'm the uh, manager for the Australian processing team. So we've just achieved 95% coverage in Australia. How did we take it from 90% to 95? Uh, yeah, a bit of hard work uh, to get there. Um, one of the hardest things was really trying to figure out where that population lies between 90 uh, and 95 percent. Analyse where the most important aspects are to go. By expanding a lot of our regions. Certain surveys have gotten larger and uh, that type of thing. Well where we're going to capture is really based on a lot of the population um, and where, where the people live in Australia. After that it is trying to plan when the most ideal time to capture these areas are. The hardest thing in expanding our coverage for Australia and even globally uh, would be weather. So uh, there's a lot of different factors like turbulence, wind, cloud obviously, uh, high cloud. And then one of the biggest roadblocks is ATC. Air traffic control, so you know our customers kind of expect that we're able to capture 24-7 all the time uh, throughout the day. But you know, when it comes to the amount of cloud coverage that we get when we're flying, that, that's a major roadblock for us. Uh, air traffic control being short-staffed is also very difficult. They, they generally they make the call whether we get clearance and whether we can capture, so it's a really nice day. Um, we still need to get clearance from ATC. So that's, they're the two probably the biggest roadblocks. It's a pretty hard one to overcome. Um, I think having you know, our planes in the right spot at the right time would definitely make it easier for us to capture areas, but we do have aircraft based all around Australia um, to try and be at the right spot at the right time based on weather, uh, and then to keep our frequency up. Uh, over overcoming the kind of the roadblock sometimes is, for me, it's firstly about communication, to talk amongst uh, the team. That then goes to you know, our sales staff, our marketing staff, our product marketing. I really need to make sure that everybody understands the situation that we may or may not be in. It's always hard to describe when we're talking about areas that we're capturing. I might make a flight map and I call it, for example, Evans Head, but it covers um, a fair way uh, north of the coast of Evans Head. So there are areas that we never really talked about expanding to but we're covering them as well. We know what our customers use our imagery for, so we know we have the councils, we have the road people, we have emergency services, you know, we've got the solar guys, we've got the, well, the food trucks they always want to talk about. So all of those people use different parts of our imagery and we consider that when we make that particular footprint around a town. We're also expanding that area, not to keep it right on the corners of the town because we know there's people interested in roads, catchments, there's even land that we know will turn into housing at some stage. So we do expand those particular footprints. We have different camera systems that are working with different amounts of photos. Uh, HD2, way more photos, it's way more complex. Uh, and same with the new HD3 system, way more photos, way more complex. You know, we're in the thousands and the, the amount of surveys that we publish over the course of a year, yeah. You know, through a lot of work made by the flight operations team and then the processing team to get those numbers up and uh, push that imagery onto Map Browser for our customers. Uh, even going into FY24, with the introduction of the new camera system type that we are, we're bringing on board, we are going to have some expanded coverage of that, mainly around the bigger cities and the, the areas we don't cover. So there is going to be more land that's captured for the first time this year as well.
<laughs> yeah, it, it is actually really cool.